The white cliffs of Dover stand defiant as workers drill into the chalk, a testament to human ambition in 1914. Engineers watch with grim determination as the sounds of machinery clash with the cries of seagulls overhead. A monumental undertaking begins. The Channel Tunnel, a symbol of man versus nature. Dust and chalk fill the air as the relentless drilling continues, marking the start of an era. In the engineering office, 1914, vintage lamps cast a soft glow on blueprints spread across a sturdy table. Engineers in tweed suits, mustaches neatly trimmed, huddle, a low hum of voices filling the room. Animated gestures punctuate the air as they tackle the tunnel's technical challenges. Brows furrowed in concentration, they point to the detailed plans, determination etched on their faces. The air is thick with paper, ink, excitement, and a palpable sense of ambition. Ventilation strategies and water seepage combat are key obstacles discussed. Sunlight floods the packed House of Commons in 1914, anticipation hanging heavy in the air. David Lloyd George stands, his voice resonating with unwavering conviction. Imagine, gentlemen, the trade that will flow, Lloyd George declares, his gestures broad and persuasive. The bonds that will strengthen us with France, he proclaims, his words echoing through the chamber. Winston Churchill nods in agreement, his gaze fixed intently on Lloyd George. In the Admiralty, 1914, sunlight bathes the room as Winston Churchill pours over naval charts, a storm brewing behind furrowed brows. He taps the chart, a glint of determination in his eyes as he envisions a swift, strategic advantage. This tunnel will provide a secure and rapid route, Churchill declares, his voice echoing with conviction. Memo to the War Council. I strongly support the Channel Tunnel project, he dictates, sealing its fate with unwavering resolve. Under the bright 1914 sun, French engineers begin their tunnel work, mirroring the British efforts across the channel. Workers, with shovels and determination, carve into the earth, the air filled with the sounds of labor. The shared purpose between the French and British teams is palpable, a beacon of unity amidst a world on the brink. Each swing of the pickaxe echoes a commitment to connection, defying the looming shadows of conflict. A hopeful endeavor takes root, symbolizing a bridge between nations, built on collaboration and shared dreams. Sunlight illuminates maps of Europe in the war office.